Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. I'm going to show you a product that I'm putting together today. Uh, this is a 7 foot by 15 foot greenhouse made by Best Choice Products. It is made in uh, China, uh, but I was quite surprised. They've done a good job on the uh, manufacturing of this, and uh, I was going to just give you some advice for when you put this together because while they do a good job on manufacturing they did a really lousy job on instructions now it does come in good packaging it came with an outside box and then a box on the inside and I didn't have any real rips or tears or no lost materials or anything in it but the instructions that they give you is just a diagram there are no instructions they give you a diagram that shows you where each of the pieces to go together but the diagram is in black and white in such bad uh, condition that uh, it really took me some some time and struggle to figure out what they were trying to, to do with the piping on here so I might be able to save you a little bit of time and give you some hints uh, for one thing the uh, bolts this is real important as you see the bolts it's all bolted together make sure that you put the bolt heads on the outside and the bolt nuts on the inside otherwise when you pull your uh, greenhouse cover over it these bolts will rip through your cover so you want to make sure that you got all your bolts go to the inside the rails the side rails as you can see the side rails go on the inside and the side braces on the sides go on the outside now it comes with these uh, hoop two hoop pieces that go together. Now the easiest way I found to put this together after struggling for a little while is to lay your first hoop down right on the ground put that first hoop together but don't bolt it at the top. You'll do that very last. Uh, bolt your side pieces together and uh, then put these, you can see these side supports braces, put those on and put your first hoop all together. Do that along with these end, these uh, bottom rails. Put all of your bottom rails together and your first hoop together. Lay that down on the ground. Now this works with two people a lot better than it does with one person, but I did it all myself. And then just all you do is just uh, pull these two. You can see these rods here. Pull these first two up along with your first hoop and then connect it to your second hoop and the next side rod. And then just work your way on down and along the greenhouse until you get to the end when you put up your last hoop. That is the fastest way I can say to do it. If you do that, you could probably put this together in you know an hour, hour and a half. You can probably put this together. As it was, it took me a couple hours figuring out the best way to put this together, especially with one person. Now these are uh, steel uh, and they are powder coated. Uh, I would not say that this is heavy duty at all. However, I'm going to show you how to make it more heavy duty uh, so it'll last in in heavy winds. Uh, now this is a really nice size. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to use one end for a greenhouse and then I'm going to put a uh, hot tub and exercise pool on the other end. I was going to get a smaller greenhouse but I think this is a really good size for that purpose because it can, gives me space for growing plants and starting plants in here but also will give me space for uh, a hot tub on the other end which I'm really looking forward to. So I've got some patio block laid in here that I'm still working on. Tools you're going to need to put this together. You will need a, uh, I believe it's a 3 8 you will need a 3 8 inch socket or uh, wrench, open face wrench. You will need a Phillips screwdriver and you'll need a little hammer of some sort because you have to put these, you can see it comes with these rubber caps uh, that just slide in the end of the poles but you got to tap them in there so you need a little hammer to put those on there. And uh, those protect the cover as you're pulling the cover over, those protect the cover from the sharp ends of the pipe. So you want to make sure that you install those. Now I'm going to put the cover on this and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll see how easy the cover goes on now that I figured out. Anyway, I hope that helps you to, uh, to see how this is put together. As long as you remember to put your bolts through from the outside into the inside and put your nuts on the inside, uh, you shouldn't have as much trouble. And then just kind of tip it all up in place as you're working on it. All right, so I'm going to put the cover on this now. Okay, folks, the best way I can see to put this cover on is to first start on the uh, rear end, the, the end that you don't want the door on. Unzip the door. It has two zippers on it. Unzip the door. And then just... Uh, put that start on the end that you don't want the door on and kind of drape it over the top and then I'm just standing on a chair and kind of working it uh, over as it goes uh, going going slow and just kind of working it over until it will cover the entire greenhouse and you want to do this on a calm day otherwise you'll be flying a kite 
uh, and so it would, would really be better with two people, one working on each side. But no matter what, you probably need to stand in the middle and uh, raise it up over the rails because that's where it'll kind of get caught up. And so that's what I'm doing. And then I get down and move one side and then move the other side. It should take me about uh, 20 minutes. I should have this done. Okay, folks, so I got the cover on this greenhouse, and it actually went on a lot smoother than I expected it to with just one person. Uh, the trick is to open that front door, like I said, start on the rear end, and then just kind of work it over. Once you get it over the rear end and start pulling it towards you, then it actually slides on pretty smooth. It's got some extra room so you can work with it. And uh, you just, I grabbed the two seams on the sides and just kind of pulled it towards me while I was standing on a chair until I got to this end and then I kind of pushed it around, moved it around so that all the seams are in place. It's got nice good seams on it that go around the pipes and it's also got some other features that I really like on this. For this product they really did a good job on the design end of the, the this. The instructions suck but the, des the design of the greenhouse is very good. For one thing it's got these little side vent windows. It's got four of them. Side vent windows and they are Velcro which I'll show you here. Velcro with screen, okay? Velcro with screen, so you can open these up and then they've got these little ties. You can just tie it like a tent door, roll it up. So this is important because it, this gets really warm. Let me tell you, just pulling this uh, uh, cover over it, before I even got halfway on, I had to pull my jacket off and start stripping down because it was so warm in there. Now it's only about 65 degrees outside, but it's really uh, inside that greenhouse. We're going to see what the temperature is. Now this comes with two uh, zippers on the sides for the door. And I'd say the door's probably about five foot, six, maybe five foot seven tall, something like that. And uh, I just open up one zipper when I'm just going in and out to hold the heat in. Uh, but you can roll it up during the summer. It's going to get hot here. And so you can roll it up. And then again, it's got these ties. You can just tie the door up to the top. So let's roll this up and I'll show you some of the inside features that they did on this. I'll show you this with the door uh, rolled up, and I'd say the door's probably about four feet wide. And why I really like this, one of the reasons I chose it is because in the wintertime I need to store my uh, riding lawnmower. So I'm going to uh, just pull my riding lawnmower in there in the winter, right through the door, and then zip it up and, and use this as extra storage. Keep the uh, snow from building up on my riding lawnmower. We'll also keep the battery warmer, so uh, hopefully I won't have to keep recharging the battery on it. And uh, the other thing I was going to show you, I know some people in the comments have said that the plastic seems to be a little bit cheap on these. Maybe they're saying they're wearing out. I don't believe that. I think maybe they just didn't put it together right. Maybe they put the bolts on the wrong side and ripped holes in is what I'm thinking. Because this is probably, I would say, maybe 4 mil or even 6 mil plastic. And it has a plastic mesh inside it, which is really good. You don't see that on a lot of these. This has a plastic mesh inside it, which is going to hold the plastic together for much longer. Now, no matter what, in a greenhouse, at some point you're going to have to replace the plastic. It would be nice if they offered the cover by itself without uh, having to buy the entire greenhouse, and I hope that's something that they will do in the future. I would recommend it. But if not, you can get uh, four mil or six mil plastic, visqueen plastic, and you can just drape that right over the uh, plastic that's on it with the mesh because that will give it more protection and just you do another cover and I'm guessing that this cover should last at least a couple of years uh, you know it is green it has a nice greenish tint to it so it doesn't stand out some greenhouses you know are bright bright uh, clear plastic or white plastic and they really stand out like a sore thumb this has a nice greenish tint to it so it, it doesn't uh, stand out and I think it looks really nice Okay, so I think this should handle, handle a couple of seasons without having to replace the plastic, maybe even longer in temperatures that don't get really hot. I don't know if this is EV protected plastic. It doesn't say in the advertising uh, whether it's EV protected, but with the mesh on there, it should last a long time. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I got my little ducky thermometer out here that I'm going to be putting in my pool. But outside temperature is only about 65, and it is almost 80. In fact, it's going up fast. It's 80 degrees inside the greenhouse already, and this has only been closed up for about a half hour. So I've already got a 15, dif uh, 15 uh, degree temperature difference inside the greenhouse. So this will, you know, on an 80 degree day, this is going to get very warm, so you're going to have to open up your vents. And I may install another vent up there at the top, because I'd like one at the top, but with these eight vents open up and your door rolled up, you should be able to keep this. And you want to keep your uh, inside temperature at about 80 degrees is what plants like. You don't want it much hotter than that and then just roll them down at night. So you can see it has a really nice open field in here, seven feet wide, seven feet headroom 
and uh, 15 feet long and it comes with they did a good job on the design it's got ties in the corners you can see it's got ties in the corners down at the bottom and in the middle it's got a tie on each side and then it's got these velcro straps which are positioned just right to go over the side rails and it's got one two uh, of those and then I just pulled my cover underneath the edge you can leave it out if you have a lot of rain you may want to leave it out so the rain drain rains off we don't get all that much rain here in the summer so I'm not worried about uh, water leaking in a little bit of water won't hurt anything in a greenhouse so good product I would highly recommend it. In fact, I did recommend it to a couple of people that had been looking one, that they were going to build one for the material uh, cost to build one. Uh, for $115 for one of these, you're getting a good deal. Now, I am going to make this a little bit more secure. They do send some tie-down stakes, which are uh, comes with rope, and they're just these little, got these little uh, stakes. I don't think they would hold much. They will hold the tarp down maybe, and I'll use those on the inside edge on the tarp. And then they send some rope, but uh, you, you want some ground stakes or something. So what I'm going to do, and what I recommend if you're in any type of high wind area, I'm going to use some steel fence posts, what are called T-posts. These are five foot long. You can get them in different lengths. And then what I'm going to do is secure this. I've got four of these laying around anyway. So I'm going to secure this right at the bottom and along the side. I'll pound this down in until it's... Uh, that uh, plate there is ground level and then I'll secure that right to the side with some high tensile steel wire uh, around the bottom and maybe up here again at the, uh, in the middle here and I'm going to put one of these on each of the four corners okay so I'll just set that there so you can see it I'm going to put one of those on each of the four corners driven down into the ground and that greenhouse isn't going to go anywhere I may even put one in the middle but I don't think I really need it. I think one on each corner would be more than enough to uh, hold this in place in case the big wind comes up and uh, that's it I'd say this is a good product made by best choice get this right best choice products this is made in China I got it for hundred and fifteen dollars on Amazon with free shipping if you got prime so I would say it's an excellent deal and uh, I may even consider getting me another one all right now I'm gonna put together my uh, swimming pool that's going in the end of it because I'm gonna have a hot tub and exercise pool in here all right folks I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration of this product. I think it's a good product. You're not going to be disappointed. Have a great day.